everybody. Aloha, mahalo, how are you? Nice to see you. We have Tim Pleasant on the drums, yeah. Larry Holloway at the bass. You, Shirley Doug McDonald, and a few years back we did a little recording called the Coachella Valley Trio doing uh, a lot of um, stuff we had been doing at a club called uh, AJ's. Now it just reopened called Tees on the Green in Cathedral City. We'll be playing some of that stuff. Here's a tune that's kind of interesting. It was done by the four freshmen as a ballad called It's a Blue World, and I remember recording it with a organ group, Plaz Johnson and Art Hillary and all these guys, and ran into the leader of the four freshmen. He said, oh, I heard your your version on the radio. I guess he liked it. It was completely different than theirs, and ours is going to be different than theirs, too, but here's It's a Blue World. Thank you. 
What a band, what a club, what an amphitheater. Well, a couple of years ago, we played the uh, library, but I think it's nicer out here, the fresh air. What a beautiful uh, facility this is. Thank you for, yeah, for coming. It's great. Also, uh, you know, Larry is with the Coachella Valley Symphony, and we've done shows, uh, Diane Shore, and you, you just had a concert here. When was it, Larry? We played here October 31st for a Halloween concert. Halloween concert. Here, yeah. yeah, very beautiful. Nice. Next concert, January 23rd at the Annenberg Theater. Oh, Annenberg's 23rd. I like that theater, yeah. Boy, the Annenberg, um, that's the one by the uh, museum. museum. Yeah, I remember years ago, we used to do Frankie Randall's show called Sinatra My Way. Of course, Frankie passed, but that's a great theater. We, you and I and Tim worked with uh, Sinatra's granddaughter. What's her name, TJ or T uh, eight? Whatever her name is, sorry. <laughs> anyway, Sinatra's granddaughter, A.G. <laughs> Lambert, I think. Anyway, AK. We're going to do a Brazilian tune. Brazilian music is um, really interesting. Uh, the lyrics are usually Portuguese. You won't hear those today, sorry. A composer called Luiz Bonfa, uh, excellent guitarist. I, I think Luiz has passed away, though, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you're adjusting your pin. Look, you're getting serious. Look at When he adjusts that pin, that means he's, he's really going to play some hot solos now. Look out. <laughs> Was it something I said? Anyway, Luiz um, Bonfa wrote this beautiful piece called The Gentle Rain. And uh, it's um, obviously what they would call a bossa nova or a Brazilian beat. So here's the gentle rain. Our bass player will return shortly. <laughs>
the gentle rain. Well, everywhere I go, I'm sure you can see it. It's a little bit not too well lighted here, but uh, under lights, you can see this is a blue guitar. It's a Benedetto. Everywhere I go, people go, wow, what is that thing? You know, it's a Benedetto. I'm not advertising for the company, but it is an endorsement. But anyway, it's just a, glad to have this great instrument. You know, how's your bass? You like your bass? How about you? You love your drums? No. Okay. Well, we'll have to get him an endorsement, get him a new drum set. That's why. He beats on them. That's why let's see, I didn't know that. He beats on them. That's great. Here's a little blues. It was originated by Jimmy Smith, the organist. It's called Back to the Chicken Shack. In the key of George. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. How about these two guys doing a great job here? Yeah. It's kind of a mental telepathy that goes along with the jazz trio. Uh, other ensembles, of course, but in a trio, it's kind of like interplay. You know, all the parts are just as important, very transparent. Hopefully, it's three, three counterpoint lines at once, in a sense. Um, right now, we'd like to slow it down. There's a guy by named Burton Lane who wrote a very successful song called On a Clear Day, which everybody's familiar with. And I think high little something high whatever it's called and but this is one that's less known i remember the first time i heard it was west montgomery's first true album in the late 50s and uh i remember hearing about it kenny varrell actually loaned him a guitar and an amp because he didn't want to fly so he <laughs> drove to new york or i think rudy van Yertel's studio in new jersey and kenny gave him his l5 and his fender amp because he didn't want to, he didn't uh he didn't want to fly, and I don't know why he didn't want to bring the guitar. Maybe he had to fly and couldn't bring the guitar, whatever. But anyway, here's Too Late Now. We hope you enjoy this ballad. Uh, this is a lesser-known song, but it's a beautiful song. We hope you like it. <laughs>
every once in a while, especially maybe once or set or once a whatever, uh, once a night at least, we like to do what I call a jazz waltz. And uh, this is one written by a very interesting guy. Um, he became popular in the 60s from Belgium. His name is Toots Thielman. Gene was his name, but Toots because he uh, used to play guitar, harmonica, and he used to whistle. And his first album was very interesting because he put this out, put this on it. It was kind of a commercial jazz album, but it's it's a little jazz waltz called Blue Zet. Thank you. 
So uh, let's see. We should do the. Um, let's let's do the. You want to do the fast blues now? Or is that? I don't know let's do a ballad number. Do a ballad. Okay. I have to check with my spiritual advisor over here. <laughs> You know, it's funny, a lot of places are noisy, and this is so great to have a quiet audience, and what happens in some restaurants or so-called clubs, it's so much conversation, it's hard to play what we call ballads, slow tunes. And uh, another one, besides Too Late Now, that we've always liked is um, one by Vernon Duke, I believe, and uh, it's a, sort of a forgotten tune as well, uh, a little more known than the last one, but it's a beautiful song called Autumn in New York.
tiles in our eyes. I think that'll work good here. Oh, yeah.
All righty. It's Tim Pleasant, Larry Holloway. That's a song from a film that actually wasn't that great of a film. It starred Edward G. Robinson, a great actor, but you've barely, barely heard the theme being played in the back, and a lot of people hear that title, they confuse it with the 50s doo-wop tune, The Night is a Thousand Eyes, but it's a completely different song. But anyway, uh, if you catch the movie, it's okay, but the, the tune is better than the movie. <laughs> um, how about... Um, one more? Uh, wine and Roses on that rhythm or something like that. No, we'll do that blues. Oh, this one do that now, or you want to do it later? Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Let's close with that. Okay, do uh, maybe Wine and Roses now and then. Yeah. yeah. Is that
one more you think? What's yeah, that? No, I'm oh yeah, we'll do it. Well, that's from a very sad movie, The Days of Wine and Roses. In fact, it's a happy tune written by Hank Mancini, Henry Man. They call him Hank, but it's Henry. And I got to work with him once, and uh, I played for his wife a private event a couple times. They're nice people. But Blake Edwards and Julie Andrews used to come into a place I used to play in Brentwood called Bandera. And, of course, he was at a wheelchair, and he passed slightly after that. But, of course, he was responsible for the film Days of Wine and Roses, if you've ever seen it. Sad movie, but Lee Remick and Jack Lemmon. But it's a happy tune, so I don't know how he got away with it. If I would have written that, it, the... The director would have said, oh, forget that. That's too <laughs> we need something sad and minor, you know. But this is another happy tune. It was a great trumpet player I got a chance to work with a couple of times called Harry Sweet Edison. You'll hear him on a lot of Sinatra records doing the fills, also on Lambert, Hendrix and Ross, a bunch of in his own recordings. And uh, here's a tune he little wrote, and he recorded it with Zoot Sims, and it's a great little blues called A Little Tutu. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Yes, my spiritual advisor has reminded me. <laughs> Tonight I'm playing Tease on the Green. He just opened, so he's understaffed, so I'm doing solo. But next week the trio is going to be back. It's the old AJs down here in um, Cathedral City, Day Pop Country Club. And you go past Perez and you go into it. And we're going to be there uh, probably 6 to 9 or 6.30 to 9.30 every Wednesday with these same guys here. So also I have some CDs of this exact group. So yeah, come and see us. And thank you for supporting live music because, you know, it's hard to find anywhere anymore, you know, unless you want to hear Raff and Hip Hop. <laughs> we're not doing that. But here's a little tune. This is bebop, not hip hop. <laughs> it's called A Little Tutu. So why don't you give us 12? Bum, boom, boom. Is that right? 12 bars? Yeah. yeah. One, two, two, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. And, and Tim said he really loves this audience, but he is seeing other audiences on the side, so don't be jealous. Anyway, we'll see you around town. Thanks so much. Have a hand for these two guys. We do have some CDs. Aloha, mahalo. Take care, and watch out for that Omicron or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.